Welcome to our comprehensive guide on advanced chronic kidney disease, often referred to as CKD. In this video, we're going to dig into the complexities and challenges of CKD, particularly focusing on its advanced stage and stage renal disease. Chronic kidney disease is a progressive condition where the kidneys gradually lose their ability to function properly. As the disease advances, it poses unique challenges and requires more intensive management. Our journey into understanding CKD will explore what happens when the disease progresses to these advanced stages. We'll discuss the symptoms that may become more pronounced, the adjustments in dietary needs crucial for managing the condition and the increased need for medical oversight. Advanced CKD affects not just the physical aspects of your health, but also has profound implications on lifestyle, emotional well being, and daily routines. This video aims to provide you with a clear understanding of these challenges and offer guidance on how to navigate them effectively. Whether you're a patient, a caregiver, or just someone seeking to learn more about CKD, this guide will provide you valuable insights and information to help you on this journey. In today's discussion, we're going to focus on three critical areas in the management of advanced CKD. First, we'll explore the intensifying symptoms and changing nutritional needs that are characteristic of stages four, five, and end-stage renal disease. Understanding these changes is crucial for both patients and caregivers in managing the disease effectively. Next, we're going to talk about the vital role of dialysis in CKD. Dialysis is a life-sustaining treatment for individuals whose kidneys can no longer fulfill their function. We're going to compare the two primary forms of dialysis, hemodialysis and peritoneal dialysis, discuss the process, advantages, and how they fit into different lifestyles. Lastly, we'll address the overlooked but extremely important concept of CKD management, the emotional and psychological preparation. The transformation to life with dialysis can be challenging, and it's essential to be both mentally and emotionally prepared for this change. We're going to discuss some strategies for coping, the importance of seeking support, and how to maintain a good quality of life despite some challenges that might be posed by dialysis. This comprehensive overview aims to equip you with the knowledge and tools needed to understand and manage advanced CKD more effectively. Our goal is to ensure that you feel more informed and empowered after watching this video. You might be wondering about who I am and why I'm qualified to talk about this. If you're someone living with chronic kidney disease, I've got great news for you. Hello, I'm Mathia Ford, a registered dietitian nutritionist specializing in chronic kidney disease and owner of renaldiethq.com. I specialize in helping people just like you improve their health by making simple yet delicious changes to your meals. Together, we can transform your eating habits, boost your overall well being, and ensure that you're enjoying every bite along the way. Say goodbye to bland and boring meals. Say hello to a healthier, more vibrant life. Let's get started on this incredible journey to better health together. Visit renaldiethq.com today and take the first step towards a healthier lifestyle. As we dive into the specifics of advanced CKD, one of the most significant aspects we encounter is the intensification of various symptoms. In stages four and five of CKD, the kidney's ability to perform their vital functions diminishes markedly. This reduction in kidney function leads to several symptoms becoming more pronounced and at times debilitating. Among these symptoms, fatigue is a common and particularly challenging issue. As kidney function declines, toxins build up in the blood, causing severe fatigue that can significantly impact daily activities and quality of life. Swelling, another common symptom, occurs due to fluid retention, particularly in the legs, ankles, and around the eyes. The swelling can be uncomfortable and may lead to complications if you don't manage it properly. Shortness of breath is another symptom that patients with advanced CKD may experience. This can be due to fluid buildup in the lungs or anemia, a common condition in CKD, where there aren't enough red blood cells to adequately oxygenate your body's tissues. It's not just these physical symptoms that affect patients. The psychological impact of dealing with chronic illness can also be profound. The constant management of symptoms coupled with the knowledge of having a chronic condition can lead to anxiety and depression. Understanding these symptoms and their implications is the first step in managing them effectively. Recognizing and acknowledging these symptoms as part of the disease progression is vital in seeking timely and appropriate care, thus ensuring a better quality of life despite the challenges of advanced CKD. Living with advanced CKD means adapting to new dietary requirements, especially as the disease progresses to stages four and five. 
Due to the kidneys reduced capacity to filter and regulate the nutrients and fluids, patients must closely monitor their intake of protein, phosphorus, potassium, and fluids. Protein becomes more limited as you get closer to dialysis and you need to pay attention to the quality of the protein that you're taking in. Phosphorus is a mineral found in dairy, nuts, and certain meats. And when kidney function declines, phosphorus can accumulate in the blood, leading to bone and cardiovascular issues or heart issues. It's vital for CKD patients to manage their phosphorus levels to avoid these complications. Potassium is essential for muscle and nerve function, but when the kidneys don't work well, potassium levels can rise to dangerous levels, increasing the risk of heart problems. Foods rich in potassium like bananas, oranges, and potatoes may need to be restricted. Fluid management is also crucial as failing kidneys struggle to maintain fluid balance, potentially causing swelling, high blood pressure, and heart problems. Regulating fluid consumption can help alleviate these risks. Nutritional management in CKD isn't just about avoiding certain foods. It's about making smart choices and finding a balance. This can involve eating higher quality proteins, selecting low phosphorus foods, and opting for fruits and vegetables with a lower potassium content. Because nutritional needs in CKD are complex and unique to the individual, it's important to work closely with the healthcare provider especially dietitians with expertise in kidney disease to develop customized meal plans. You can get those on my website that consider personal health status, stage of CKD and coexisting health conditions. However, as every person's condition is different, dietary recommendations will vary. Adapting to these dietary changes is key to managing health, alleviating symptoms and potentially slowing the progression of the disease. As CKD progresses to stages four and five and eventually end stage renal disease, Intensive medical oversight becomes critical. The decline in kidney function necessitates regular health monitoring involving more frequent visits to different healthcare professionals like nephrologists and dietitians. These visits are crucial for tracking kidney function and managing overall health. Patients with advanced CKD often must undergo frequent blood tests to gauge kidney performance and check for vital health indicators like electrolyte balance, hemoglobin, and calcium levels. Additionally, imaging tests, including ultrasounds or CT scans, may be needed to monitor the kidneys and identify potential complications. The purpose of these increased medical appointments is multifaceted. They enable healthcare providers to fine-tune medications, control symptoms, preempt complications, and discuss treatment options such as dialysis. These sessions also offer patients a chance to voice their concerns, to get answers, and receive specific advice. While these appointments are essential for early detection of kidney function changes and timely treatment adjustments, they also place significant demands on patients. The added stress of managing frequent medical visits alongside everyday life can be taxing, hence the importance of a strong support system. In essence, rigorous medical oversight required for advanced CKD is vital for effective disease management, and patients should prioritize clear communication with their healthcare team and actively engage in their healthcare management to confidently handle these complexities that come with advanced CKD. Dialysis is a critical treatment for those with advanced CKD, particularly in stage kidney disease, where it becomes a life sustaining intervention due to the kidney's reduced ability to function properly. This procedure helps eliminate waste, excess salt and water, it balances blood chemicals and it helps manage your blood pressure. There are two primary forms of dialysis, hemodialysis and peritoneal dialysis. Hemodialysis filters the blood through a machine and is often performed in a hospital or a dialysis center, typically requiring three weekly sessions lasting several hours each. Some patients may opt for home hemodialysis as an alternative. Peritoneal dialysis utilizes the body's abdominal lining as a filter, where a special fluid called dialysate captures waste products and is later drained. This method is more flexible and often done at home. Choosing between hemodialysis and peritoneal dialysis depends on the patient's health, lifestyle, preferences, and physician's advice. Both methods have their pros and cons, and the decision should be made after careful consideration of your situation. Undergoing dialysis requires a strict schedule and lifestyle adjustments, including diet and fluid intake restrictions. While it can affect energy levels and daily living, many patients manage to lead fulfilling lives with proper treatment management. Dialysis is not a cure for kidney failure, but it serves as supportive therapy to extend and enhance the quality of life. 
For some patients, a kidney transplant may be a more definitive option. Being well-informed about dialysis is essential for patients and their families as they navigate the complexities of advanced CKD. Knowledge about the treatment options and their implications can help make the adjustment to living with dialysis more feasible and improve overall well-being. If you've found this video so far engaging, informative, and useful, we'd greatly appreciate your support. By hitting that subscribe button, you can ensure you never miss out on any future updates, insights, or exciting content that we have in store for you. And now back to our regularly scheduled programming. Preparing for hemodialysis, focusing first on the critical step of access creation, hemodialysis is a life-saving treatment for those with severe kidney failure, but it does require a surgical procedure to create a vascular or blood vessel access point. This access point, typically created in the arm, is crucial as it enables the efficient movement of blood to and from the hemodialysis machine. Let's look at what this process entails. A surgeon creates either an arteriovenous AV fistula, where an artery is connected directly to a vein, or an AV graft where a synthetic tube is used to connect them. The choice depends on the patient's vein and artery health. The AV fistula is often preferred due to its longevity and lower infection risk. The procedure is relatively straightforward, but its success is vital for effective dialysis. Post-operative care is equally important. It involves regular checkups to ensure the access point is healing well and functioning properly. Patients are also taught how to care for their access point to prevent infections and complications. Understanding this procedure is essential for patients and their families. It helps demystify the first step in the dialysis journey, reducing anxiety and empowering patients with knowledge about their treatment. Remember, a well-functioning access point is key to successful hemodialysis and managing kidney failure effectively. Transitioning to peritoneal dialysis involves preparing your living space to accommodate the treatment safely and effectively since it's done at home. This form of dialysis allows patients more freedom and flexibility because you do it at home. However, it does require specific modifications to create a suitable environment. The primary focus is on maintaining a clean and infection-free space. This might mean dedicating a room or a section of a room solely for dialysis, ensuring it's free from dust, pets, and other potential contaminants. Organizing the space is also key with a need for storage for dialysis supplies like solutions, tubings, and masks. That is can be a big burden to carry and hold on to all of the extra fluids and everything that you need to do peritoneal dialysis, so you may need a separate space for that. Patients and caregivers should be well-versed in maintaining sterility. Simple practices such as regular cleaning and hand hygiene become paramount. It's also important to have a comfortable setup as treatments can last several hours. Additionally, some might opt for minor renovations, such as installing easy-to-clean surfaces or ensuring there's adequate space for equipment. Proper lighting and a comfortable chair or bed are also essential, contributing to a more pleasant treatment experience. Through these modifications, patients can create a safe, efficient, and comfortable space for peritoneal dialysis at home, leading to a more positive treatment experience and better overall quality of life. Education is a powerful tool in the journey of dialysis. Understanding what dialysis involves its purpose and how it affects your body can significantly reduce anxiety and help in making informed decisions. This segment focuses on demystifying the dialysis process. Dialysis performs the kidneys functions when they are no longer able to do so. It involves removing waste, excess sodium and water from the body, maintaining safe levels of certain chemicals in the blood and controlling blood pressure. There are two main types, hemo and peritoneal, which we just talked about with its, each has its own procedures, benefits, and challenges. For hemodialysis, the blood is filtered outside the body using a machine. This typically occurs three times a week at a dialysis center. Peritoneal dialysis, on the other hand, uses the lining of your abdomen to filter blood and can be done at home. Understanding the benefits such as toxin removal and fluid balance alongside the potential challenges like some dietary restrictions and lifestyle changes is crucial. It prepares patients not just physically, but also mentally for the road ahead. Moreover, being informed enables patients to engage actively in their treatment. They can ask pertinent questions, recognize symptoms that require medical attention, and take charge of their health. 
This education journey is about empowering patients, making them partners in their healthcare rather than just recipients. Education about dialysis equips patients with the knowledge and confidence needed to navigate their treatment journey effectively. Embarking on the dialysis journey can often feel isolating, but finding support within the dialysis community can be a beacon of hope and resilience. This network can include fellow patients, healthcare professionals, and support groups, providing a sense of community and understanding that's invaluable. Engaging with others who are undergoing or have undergone dialysis offers a unique perspective that only shared experiences can provide. These connections foster an environment of mutual support where patients can exchange practical advice, such as managing side effects or dietary changes, and emotional support to cope with the challenges of dialysis. Peer support groups, whether online or in person, are excellent avenues for this exchange. It's not just about receiving support, but also giving it. Sharing your experiences can empower others and provide a sense of purpose and connection. This mutual exchange often leads to long-lasting friendships and a deeper understanding of personal experiences. You are not alone in your journey. By connecting with others in similar situations, patients can gain insights, find comfort, and enhance their coping strategies. A strong support network is a cornerstone of successful adaptation to life with dialysis. There's a profound impact professional counseling can have on patients facing dialysis. The shift to a life with dialysis is not just a physical adjustment, but a deeply emotional and psychological one. Counseling plays a critical role in navigating these complex emotions and fostering mental well-being. Counselors specialized in chronic illness and dialysis can provide tailored coping strategies, helping patients manage feelings of anxiety, fear, and depression that often accompany a chronic health condition. These professionals offer a safe space for patients to express their emotions, fears, and frustrations without judgment. They can also assist in addressing any underlying mental health conditions that may be exacerbated by the stress of dialysis. Counseling extends its benefits to family members as well, who might also struggle with the patient's diagnosis and changes it brings. Family counseling can improve communication, help in understanding the emotional toll of dialysis on the patient, and strengthen the support system within the family. Let's emphasize that seeking mental health support is a sign of strength, not weakness. It's an essential component of comprehensive care for dialysis patients, contributing significantly to their overall quality of life. Embracing counseling can lead to better emotional resilience, improved treatment adherence, and a more positive outlook on life. It's important to focus on the crucial aspect of quality of life post-dialysis or while you're on dialysis. Dialysis represents a significant lifestyle adjustment, but it's also a path to feeling better and regaining energy. Let's shift the focus from the challenges of dialysis to the opportunities and improvements it brings to patients' lives. Many patients report a notable improvement in their overall well-being after beginning dialysis. Symptoms like fatigue, nausea, and a general feeling of malaise, often associated with kidney failure, can diminish, allowing for a more active and fulfilling life. Dialysis, though demanding, can be a stabilizing force, bringing a routine and structure that many find comforting. I try to encourage patients to explore new hobbies and activities that are compatible with their dialysis schedule. It's about adapting and finding joy in the new normal. This can include traveling with portable dialysis equipment, engaging in gentle physical activities, or pursuing creative interests. Let's also talk about the importance of setting realistic goals and celebrating small victories. Whether it's a return to work, spending more time with family, or just enjoying a favorite hobby, these achievements are significant milestones in a dialysis patient's journey. While dialysis is a substantial adjustment, it doesn't have to define one's life. With the right support, information, and mindset, patients not only manage their condition, but also thrive, leading a life marked by quality and fulfillment. The journey through dialysis is complex, multifaceted, and deeply personal, yet there are universal truths and strategies that can guide and support patients and their families. Number one, preparation and education are fundamental. The importance of thorough preparation and education cannot be overstated. Understanding the intricacies of dialysis, including the types of dialysis, the process of accessing treatment, and the necessary lifestyle adjustments, empowers patients to make important, informed decisions. This knowledge also reduces anxiety and fear, paving the way for a smoother transition to dialysis. Number two, emotional and psychological support is critical. 
the emotional and psychological impact of dialysis is as significant as the physical aspect. Seeking support, whether through counseling or peer groups or strong social and family networks, is vital. These support systems provide a platform for sharing experiences, obtaining advice, and finding comfort, greatly enhancing the quality of life and mental well-being of a patient. Lastly, focus on quality of life and adaptation. The focus on quality of life and the ability to adapt to a new normal is essential. Dialysis, while a life-altering process, does not define one's existence. Embracing the changes, finding new hobbies and activities, and setting achievable goals contribute to a fulfilling life. Patients often find renewed energy and a sense of stability in their routine post-dialysis. Dialysis is a journey of adjustments, learning, and growth. With the right preparation, support, and mindset, patients can navigate this path with resilience and optimism, embracing the possibilities of life with dialysis.